hi good morning to everyone this video is to best my first video tutorials about the multi elevator in Unreal Engine 4 welcome back to the next video tutorial for Royce Unreal Engine 4 video tutorials bienvenido otra vez a los tutoriales de Roy this tutorial is dedicated to the tiger spot to splice and especially to Mateus or I don't know how to pronounce that but you know that they have requested this new best multi elevator tutorial so I'll do it with the best of my knowledge okay so bienvenido espero que aprendan I would like you to uh, learn something new I will model a basic elevator because I want to let you know something special if you will use your own elevator so I have 3ds Max always on the architectural units right here US standard inches 116 and then we have a box right maybe around 8 feet by by 8 you see right there or maybe we can have 8 by 10 and 4 inches on the floor and then we can move to the center of the grid right here when you press the move tool you can move this to the center of the grid pressing 0 on each window right here so the, the, the now the uh, basic object is on the center ¿verdad? el objeto está en el medio cuando lo movemos aquí con cero sorry about my English because it has been a while since I don't speak English alright so let's continue we have zero here oh sorry zero zero and zero alright so now what I would like if to rename this last uh, elevator floor alright and change the color and now if you want you can convert this to a little poly and you can subdivide the elevator to have the walls you have to this video is not about modeling this video is about to get the elevator working in Unreal Engine 4 I'm just doing a basic model here to have some better reference about what we are doing alright if you want to learn how to model I have I have a playlist are ready for you that is called uh, 3ds Max for new users you are welcome to you are welcome to see that playlist right here Roy is 3ds Max for new users in this video tutorial in este video Vamos a explicar el básico rápido el UI y vamos a empezar a modelar una escalera, una escalera básica. And then after we model this, we texture the ladder so you learn how to texture also. Okay? And if you need something, you ask for it. Too easy, huh? Alright, so let's continue with this. Vamos a seguir aquí. Ya tenemos esto. Now I add 
a single and now what I can do is to select I will, ha I will also have this option selected because it helped me to do not uh, pressing alternate you deselect and then you select again and I will extrude this like around I think 9 feet is good maybe we could do 10 so so, so you don't feel uh, inside a box maybe we could do 10 So let's hit OK. Vamos aquí a darle OK. Now we have our basic walls. And now we can select this polygon right here. And move it this way a little bit. And if, if you want like this line bended, you can also select this edge right here, double click it, and then alternate, deselect this one, and this one, and you can move it, I have pressed alternate W to, to navigate through uh, the uh, viewports and you can move this edge right there and there you go then I will select the polygons again with the selection tool pressing the uh, Q la, la, la Q selecciono aquí le voy a dar eh, bevel voy a poner cero aquí ponerle un poquito más Le voy a dar aquí a mi símbolo de, de Add, ¿verdad? Voy a ponerle 0 aquí. Y aquí vamos a ponerlo para adentro. And you can go to the other viewports to see what you're doing. Because you don't want this to happen, alright? So you have it right there. Ok. Good to go. Now we have something more realistic, right? So let's uh, fix this this uh, floor right here. I, I I will change realistic to shaded, so I don't have this this shadow artifacts over there. So let's fix this. I will move this edge downwards I could fix this many ways okay I'm doing it this way Alright. Because I, I, I don't wanna go to modeling techniques and stuff, okay? So just bear with me, alright? Yata. Okay. So I have now this a box right here.
and let's have uh, el techo I will select this uh, with alternate you deselect something that you don't want want so I have 10 minutes I will stop this video right here thank you for watching thank you for, for learning uh, thank you for staying tuned thank you for requesting videos ¿verdad? gracias por pedir videos y todo eso so nos vemos